Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this series of new features of Dialogue Zero 12.1, we are going to learn regarding the reflection factors. Previously in older versions of Dialogues, the reflection factor of the ceilings and the columns were same. And if you had to replace the texture, replace the reflection factors, you had to do it individually. Individually applying the textures was time consuming. With this feature update in Dialux Evo 12.1, you can easily assign the reflection factors for the various components of your project. Let's dive into it. I have opened the Dialux. You can make these settings in the starting of the project itself because it becomes easy for you to plan ahead. We'll go to the file, settings and general settings. This will be the preview when you open the settings and then you can go for project. Under project, you have all the data regarding the reflection factors for various components. For ceilings, here it is 70%. For suspended ceilings, it's again 70%. For walls, it's 50 For floors, it's 20 Usually when we make lux calculations as per the lighting standard, it says us to follow this 70, 50 and 20 rule. But in case, depending on the on your project, if you have to change the reflection factor, go ahead and make the settings here. Okay, then separately, now there are readings for beams, columns, platforms and ramps. So see here, walls and columns are again 50%, but if you want to change it, you can make it to say for novel, I'll make it as 55%, enter. If you want to reset any changes which you have made, you can click on the button reset. That's it. Okay. Now we will close the settings and see how it works. I will make a small room. Okay. Now I will add some columns. Let me add two types of columns. One is this rectangular column and another is this circular column. Okay, this is only for the sample. Okay, now I made the settings changes only for the columns. Okay. I didn't make changes for beams or ramp. That's why I'm testing only the columns. Now I'll go to the texture. Pick material. See here it is 55%. That's what the settings I made. It's even same for my round column. Okay. But for the walls it is 50%. Now say I need to add some color or some other reflection factor to my columns as per my project requirements. I can I will replace it see the texture got changed only for the columns because the reflection factor of the column is slightly different than the reflection factor of the walls i think this feature is going to be very helpful for you while planning your project especially your facade lighting projects because i remember my projects wherein if i had different textures for columns either I had to I couldn't replace the material what I could do is just apply the material individually like this or say like this which was time consuming let's see if we can make the changes in the standards once I have already started the project okay now let me add let me add say I will add a ramp and a draw rectangular room element Okay, so this is the ramp and the reflection factor of this ramp is 20%. Okay, I'll go to the file, settings, general settings and ramp is 20%. Let me make it to 25%. Enter. I'll go back to my construction. I'll recheck the material, pick material. Okay. So this ramp I placed before I made the changes in the settings. That's why it's the same, 20%. But let us go and check if I draw now what would be the reflection factor. Select. I will draw this here. 
okay pick material now it's 25 percent awesome so this means i can make the settings even when i'm working on a project if you forget to make the settings when you are in in the beginning of the project then you can make the settings changes even while you're working in the project so this is it guys in this video this was about the reflection factors update in the dialogs 12.1 if you find this video helpful please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogs with me thank you